My name's Lord Melian. Well, my name's Aaron, actually. <laughs> the character I play is Lord Melian. And uh, every year, uh, May time, we open the season up with something which is very special. It's uh, the charity premiere, and it's, uh, it's a particular uh, poignant part of the year because basically the whole of Mallorca comes together, not just Pirates, but all our sponsors, uh, for one big special event, which is in fact the charity premiere, which is all for Great Ormond Street Hospital. And what happens is, is uh, we fly out six families uh, from the United Kingdom, uh, courtesy of our sponsors, and we put them in the hotel. And it's, a, it's a holiday, but more than just a holiday, it's a chance for us to showcase our, our show. I mean, these children are very special, obviously. Uh, they've gone through a lot of uh, different roller coaster of emotions through the families, the mums and dads, and, and everybody involved. And these uh, are poorly children, uh, but we feel it's a, it's a special time for us to give something back to these children. We all come together, and this particular night becomes the event of the year where we raise as much money as possible for Great Ormond Street. And that money then goes uh, everything from the door collections to the raffle tickets to the wonderful prizes that get donated to us so we could raise that money on the night for the auction, all goes back into Great Ormond Street. We do this every year and it's, you know, it is, it is very special and, and every year just gets bigger and better. And the more we keep raising, the more we can add into Great Ormond Street. And what it's gone to is uh, the, the wing at Great Ormond Street, a, a treatment room. The celebrities, it's just amazing that the time they give up, we are able to, to contact these people and, and ask them to please join us in, in, our, in our quest for raising as much money as possible. We've been working with Great Ormond Street Hospital in London now for, for five years. This is our fifth uh, annual charity premiere where we're working with them and it's a relationship that's very special to us throughout the organisation really. I think every member of the cast and the management team have been over to, to the hospital at some point and been and seen the, the amazing work that they do there. So it's really, really very special to us and uh, you know, we've raised nearly half a million euros to date and we're, we're very confident that we're going to uh, increase that total substantially with tonight's performance. The charity premiere is very, very special to us, and it always has been. And all in all, it's a, it's a fantastic day. It starts in the morning when we meet the children and the families. Then we have a, a press call here at this beautiful hotel. Then we go and get everybody together, and we'll have a, a meal before the show, and then take part in the event itself. It's the big day of the year, isn't it? It's premiere day. Premiere. And uh, nervous, but it's uh, exciting as well. I mean, you get to meet all the, the uh, families that you know, we're helping by raising money and, and that, so it's, uh, it's a great day of the year. It's the most rewarding day of the whole season, for me personally, for most of us, I believe. I'm Sir Henry Morgan this year. It's, uh, it's been an interesting rehearsal period um, because obviously Phil had been doing it for 16 years and uh, it's very strange taking over his role. Because he's been doing it that long, everyone sort of sees Sir Henry Morgan as, as Phil, but I mean, the feedback I've got from doing it has been really positive and, and, uh, and I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm actually sort of bringing myself into the role in that, so. What is going to be strange is, this is the first premiere I've turned up where I've actually got to think what I've got to wear tonight. I've always had my Sir Henry Morgan outfit on and now Freddie's got it, so I'm going to have to iron a shirt or something. I've never had this problem before. Well, I've had a fantastic day today, you know, it's uh, incredibly important uh, being out here. Um, I met a couple of the kids. Uh, my, my cousin Wesley died of uh, leukaemia last year, so he's been in and out of Great Ormond Street and, uh, and so on and so forth. So, it, you know, the, the, the care that the, this trust and this fund provides is, uh, uh, is, is of a, you know, it's hugely important because... Um, the days when we were there and when, when, when Wesley was down, Wesley was ill, to, to know that he has some of the best carers in the world uh, was a very big deal. So uh, to be here is a privilege, to be surrounded by people that, uh, same, as, same as my cousin, you know, they smile and uh, to, to be here and if I can make them smile a wee bit, it's a big deal. It's absolutely devastating for anybody to sort of witness a child being ill or sick and I think that's why it's such a strong sort of feeling amongst people that, that they want to give. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, Great Ormond Street's always a charity, you know, the hospital that stands out in your mind anyway. And they do such amazing work with children. And I, I just think that anybody who gives out their time, you know, looking at all the pirates here tonight, and they're just so fantastic with the kids. 
and the kids are so in awe. They all, is it Captain Jack or is it uh, Blackbeard? Uh, I, I'm getting an education on pirates here. It's amazing. No, it's fantastic. I've had a great time, and th what they're doing is just amazing. We've all got nippers or nieces or nephews, and kind of, you know, and if anything, God forbid, happens to any of them, then we want to know that there's a great place like Great Ormond Street Hospital that, you know, they can get looked after. Everybody's just having fun and that's what the event is all about. Um, it's such a positive vibe and I love mixing with the kids and having so much fun with the kids. All the celebrities are having fun, chatting to the parents, getting to know everybody and it's just such a lovely, happy environment in the middle of Mallorca. Blue sky, great food and um, it's just one of those moments where you look, where you wake up next morning in Elstrin Bournemouth and think, my God, did that actually happen? <laughs> I can't wait. You're looking forward to tonight's show? Yeah. What are you going to do with the guy with the hair? Hmm? Let's wig off. What are you going to do with the guy with the hair? Um, pull his wig off. Pull his wig off. There you go. Hey. I've never been to the pirate show. I can't wait. I've heard there's some spectacular falls onto, and, and no harnesses apparently, which is a little bit scary, rather like ice skating. <laughs> I can't wait. I have heard so much about these shows. Um, I had a look on the website and they look very colourful, lots of acrobatics. And uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of I really don't know what to expect. So I've seen some of these uh, colourful characters wandering around, sort of, you know, talking to me. A bit scary, some of them. So yeah, I'm quite interested to see what I'm going to find. Pirate Roll! Pirate Roll! Absolutely amazing. I have never seen anything like that in my life. Extraordinary. I was asking myself, is that possible? Absolutely much more than I expected. I didn't actually know what it was. I heard it was a pirate show and there were pirates and a bit of dancing, but I had no idea that it was like that. It was incredible. Absolutely brilliant. That was fantastic. I can't believe it. Everyone said it was a brilliant show. And when you see those guys, how he climbed up that rig with him on his head, just amazing. How could you not enjoy that? It was absolutely fantastic. That's what I said. You turn up thinking you're going to see like a sort of a pirate show. That was world class out there tonight. It was absolutely. Every single person on that stage was brilliant. Not good, brilliant. I'm so happy to um, for the auction. My God, that was brilliant. We raised so much. It's still not the final total as yet. Fundraising as ever. You know, the generosity is amazing. 100,000 euros in, in the space of, you know, Three, two or three hours, it's phenomenal. Well, Great Ormond Street is such a great charity anyway. I mean, I, I really do think it's fantastic. And meeting some of the families that have come over, it really really sort of brings home what great work they do. A lot of these kids wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Great Ormond Street. Absolutely, over the moon. It is a well-worthy charity. Without that hospital, I'd be childless now. And I'm absolutely, I'm, I'm forever in their debt and I can't, to see this, you know, it's, it's, I'm well out, honestly. It's fantastic. People forget, they hear about Great Ormond Street and what a wonderful hospital it is, but they forget that they rely on charity donations from people. And it's important, you know, if it wasn't for the people that are here today, you know, a lot of those kids wouldn't be getting the treatment that they need. It was seriously one of the best shows I've ever seen. You have to come here and see it. It's amazing. Those guys and girls are amazing. I thought it was a fantastic. I can't wait to get on my trampoline when I get home. <laughs> it's been the best evening in a long time, yeah. Really brilliant. I mean, you know, it's from the heart. It really was a fantastic night. So thank you very much. Thank you. I so enjoyed it. It's amazing. I, I would love to see it again. Definitely come back. Yeah, see those pirates again? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Ooh, <arr. laughs> it was brilliant. I want to be in it now. <laughs> the best show in the world. It's for the best cause. What better night can you get?